Hey y'all, it's Jess. Welcome back to my garden for another planting video. So today we're actually gonna be planting up some of my containers and I am so excited for all of the color that I have planned for these. If you guys missed my last video, I'll leave it linked. Go check it out. I did haul all of the plants that I'm gonna be planting today. So if you're interested in those, I'll leave that link for you guys. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it because I'm excited. All right, so here's the first pot I want to work on. This is actually my DIY stone planter that I did, I think, three or four years ago. I'll leave that video link for you guys if you're interested. It does need a touch-up paint job at this point, so I will probably do that after this video. I'm not going to film that for y'all and bore y'all with me spray painting, but I did lose the emerald colonnade that was planted in this planter, so I dug that out. The soil that's in here has only been in here for one season, so I'm just going to top it off with some fresh soil, add in some fertilizer, and then I have one just like it over here that I want to work on. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right to planting.
right, y'all, so I got everything planted and watered in, and I'm so excited to have some color back in these pots. So really quick, I'm gonna run through all the plants, let you guys know what I planted. For my centerpiece, I planted a canna, y'all, and it is so pretty. Here's a look at the tag. It's by Proven Winners called Toucan Coral. So it does take full sun to part sun. It grows 30 to 48 inches tall, and it is hardy zones 8A to 11B. So I think it's gonna be so gorgeous against my white backdrop here, like once I pressure wash. But look at that bloom, y'all. Love that coral color. And then behind that, I planted an Impatience Walleriana. And here's a look at that one's tag. Another proven winner is called Rockapulco Coral Reef. I know y'all, another coral, but the blooms actually don't really look coral to me. They're a little bit wilted just because I just watered them. But look at this one here. It's more of like a Barbie pink, I guess I would describe it as. But anywho, this one does take part shade to shade. It grows 10 to 20 inches and it's hardy zones 11A to 11B. So if I didn't mention, I do garden in zone 7B here in North Carolina. So all of these that I planted are annual in my area, which I think is fine because I like to repot my pots every year. And then down here, this gorgeous beauty, look at that bloom, y'all. So this one is a begonia. This one is called Nonstop Fire. It takes sun to part shade and grows about eight inches tall. So I think it'll fill in this entire area. But just look at that orange color. I'm so into orange this year, y'all. So I think those two, well actually all of this will be a pretty combination. Down here on the front side, I planted a begonia. This one's called Funky Pink Begonia by Proven Selections. And it takes part shade to shade. It grows eight to 12 inches. And this one is hardy zones 11A to 11B. So again, here's a look at that flower. Super pretty hot pink and orange color. Like it's just gonna be tropical vibes all in my front here. And then lastly, over here on the side, as my trailer, I just planted a marguerite sweet potato vine. This thing grows like crazy, y'all. So I wanted it to just trail down the side of the pot. I think it'll be really pretty. So yeah, that is the first mix of plants. And then up here at my front door, I potted up another hibiscus. I had an orange blooming hibiscus here last year and I loved it so much, I had to pick up another one. So here's a look at what those blooms look like. Look at that, y'all. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Like, I love that hot pink center and the yellow and the orange. It's just so tropical vibes. But anywho, this one is called Tangerine Paradise Wind. So this one is actually a new hibiscus that my garden center was growing this year. And I just had to have it, y'all. Like, this was not in the plan to pick up, but I think it's going to be beautiful up here at my front door. Moving right along, in the base of my lamppost planter, I planted some gorgeous dahlias, y'all, and I have to give you a close-up of these blooms. I did knock a few of the petals off when I was watering, unfortunately, but look at this one. Oh my gosh, that is so, so gorgeous. So these are called Hypnotica Tropical Breeze. Here's a look at this tag. It is an annual, and it grows, let's see, 10 to 18 inches tall and 18 to 24 inches wide so these will fill in this entire base and they'll probably reach i might have to raise my uh hanging basket here just a little bit but probably reach just at the base so i think it's going to be so pretty and look at my pansies so these are my trailing pansies that i planted last fall i did give them a prune back in february and they are filling back out like oh it's just like a pot of blooms so pretty just don't have the heart to pull them out i did purchase some annuals to plant these up for the summer but i'm just enjoying their color for now all right so now we're in the backyard and i did decide to do a quick little drift back here just along the front border of some petunias so here's a look at this tag they're called supertunia persimmon and they're so pretty you guys like look at that orange corally color with that yellow throat they do take full to part sun they grow four to eight inches tall and wide. So I'm so excited to see these fill in right here. So if you all are wondering what these little green mounds are, this front row is the petunias that I just planted. Behind that, I have a drift of white Ron's Veronica, and then I'll have purple Millennium Garlic. So I think it's gonna be so, so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. Also, I decided to underplant my topiary, and this is the one that was struggling last year. I have been treating this one, like literally I doused this entire thing in spray, and it's bouncing back, y'all, I'm so excited. So basically what it's been doing is pushing out, like dropping all of its bad leaves like these, like you can see, I've been trying to clean them out as they drop, 
they've been dropping and pushing out all of this new growth. So I'm so happy with how it's responding to its treatment. Like, look at all this new growth, y'all. Cannot wait to see it fill out. And it's also setting its blooms. Do y'all see that? Oh, so I'm so happy that this is recovering. It was stressing me out. But anywho, I decided to underplant it with some Calibrecoa. And they are a little bit closed up just because I just watered them in. Here's a close-up of what one of the open blooms looks like. If I can get it to focus. Look at that, y'all. I love that lilac. Like, y'all know I love my pinks and purples. So I love the lilac in that deep purple center. And then way down on the inside, that little pop of yellow. Oh, and these will fill in the entire base. So I'm so excited to see this planter fill out. And then down here at my mailbox bed, I did not film this for you guys. I actually planted these a couple days ago when I first bought the plants. I was just so excited to start planting. But I did pop in four Calibrecoa around the base of each of my fluffy gold arborvitaes here. Here's a close-up of those blooms. They are a little bit wilted just because, again, I did just water. But I love that hot pink color with that yellow throat. And they are going to fill in and probably spill over the side. So I'm so excited for the color down here. All right. And for my last planting of the evening, I potted up my cute little elephant pot here with a petunia. And if you all have been following me over the years, you know how obsessed I am with double ruffle flowers. Look at this bloom. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, it reminds me of a carnation. So this one is called Origami Burgundy Petunia, and I know the tag says burgundy, but this is actually a deep grape violet purple, and I think it's going to be so pretty mixed in with all of the color I have here in this area. By the way, look at my Japanese maple. It is coloring up so pretty. So it is a little bit lopsided because my trash guy actually knocked off all of the branches on this side of the tree a couple years ago, so... Yeah, I was really sad about that, but I do plan on relocating this to the backyard at some point. I'm just not ready to do that yet. Yeah, y'all, I'm just loving all of the color in this area and how lush everything is looking. But anywho, so that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight for this quick little plant with me. I hope you all enjoyed it. I really wanted to get everything planted because we actually have six days of rain coming up in the forecast. So they'll be well watered in and I think they're going to have a beautiful season. So thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.